Okay, to start, cut the gill wire to four equal parts, seven inches long, and prepare the clay. Make sure there are no air bubbles. Measure out each leg seven inches long. Push the wire through and back up a good half an inch because the clay will shrink. Start shaping the legs. Keep the clay covered with polythene to keep it moist. Cover the legs, put them to one side and start working on the body. Press the hole through the middle. Place a dampened newspaper inside. Close the hole up. I didn't need to use slurry because the clay is moist enough. The body measures eight inches long. This is going to be the chest area, which I will hollow out later when I make the opening for the neck. Height to the shoulder is nine and a half inches long, and the head is five inches long. After I finish shaping the head, I will co leave it covered for a couple of days under polythene to stiffen up before hollowing it out. Compress the clay as you go, so there's no trapped air. So these are the back legs. The clay is still moist enough for me not to use slurry when I'm adding clay. So pop some more newspaper in to support it, keep it moist. Front legs done. Make the opening for the neck. Cut the neck off and keep that to one side. Hollow the head. Place a dampened newspaper inside, hollow out the neck and attach them all back together. The head does need supporting, otherwise it will droop. This is quite a good way of lining up the eyes. The muscle measures two and a quarter inches long. This 
dog is completely sealed, so I'll need to make a couple of holes, otherwise it will explode in the kiln. I'm going to make two holes in the nostrils and one discreetly under the body in between the back legs. Before attaching the ears, I will leave this dog to rest for a couple of days covered so that the neck is strong enough to support the head. This is black slip and the clay needs to be moist to apply it. Seeing that he's got a split above his left eye, so I shall fill that in a minute. So I've painted, completely painted the face. I will lift out the colour from the eyes, the chest, and the tongue. So I mix the yellow, green, and red together for the eyes the black pupil, added some white for the chest and the dot on the eyes. I'm not happy with the eyes so I'm going to work on them a bit more after. Painted the tongue pink and this is the black underglaze. I put white on the chest but I'll um, black that out with the black brush on glaze. He's now ready for the bisque firing. So I've used matte black on the body and clear glaze on the eyes, nose and tongue. 